Hey team, Richard Tubb here. And for once, I'm not in the studio garage at my home in Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm actually in a hotel room in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, where I'm part of the big exchange EMEA event. However, I've broken out the travel microphone to record this very special bonus out episode of Tub Talk, the podcast for IT consultants, to speak with a guest who is going to share some real breaking news with you. Now, long-time listeners to the show will know that we love to shine a light on and support the positive disruptors in the managed service provider space. The folks who are doing something new, something innovative, something exciting. Well, my guest today is certainly doing that. Arvind Parthiban is the CEO and co-founder of SuperOps.ai, who are a combined PSA, that's Professional Services Automation, and RMM, that's Remote Monitoring and Maintenance Platform, that has built artificial intelligence, or AI, into the very foundation of everything the platform does. So SuperOps is a cutting-edge platform for progressive MSPs, and as you're about to hear, it's about to get a whole lot bigger and more exciting. Arvind, welcome back to Tub Talk. How are you, my friend? I'm doing really good. How are you, Richard? Very well. I know that you have been running around the last 48 hours because you've got big news to share with us. So thank you for taking the time out in between TV appearances and radio and media uh, to talk to me here. Before we jump into things, though, for, for my listeners who perhaps aren't familiar with SuperOps.ii, can you explain a little bit more about what it is you do to help manage service providers? Perfect. Firstly, thank you so much for having me in this podcast. And it's always been a pleasure talking to you. And uh, thank you for accommodating me uh, during your busy week. Uh, so for all the uh, audience here, um, we at SuperOps.ai, we call ourselves the modern PSA and RMM platform with uh, AI as one of the differentiators in our uh, platform. So we have bundled five different products, uh, PSA, RMM, IT documentation, and project management in a single platform, built ground up, unified, uh, catering to the MSP business. So basically we want to help MSPs uh, do, do business easier and get to profitability. That, that's the essence of SuperOps. Yeah, and I think for anybody listening, if you've looked at the PSA market, the RMM market, there's a lot of really good tools out there, but some of them are starting to show their age a little bit, and that's natural because they've been built a long time ago and they've got a lot of bloat in there. They've got a lot of legacy technical debt and things. So the reason I'm such a fan of SuperOps is it's built from the ground up. It's like the modern MSPs tool, uh, very, very progressive. But as I alluded to, it's about to get a whole lot bigger and better. So I mentioned you've got some big news to share, Arvind. Can you spill the beans for us? Awesome. So we basically closed our Series B funding. Uh, we raised $12.4 million this round. Uh, we It's been led by internal investor Addition Capital. And then we have a new investor participating in this round. It's March Capital is uh, one of the leading investors in the U.S., uh, along with Matrix participating in this round. So we closed it to a, a Series B round with a total fundraise uh, going up uh, to $30 million. That's incredible. So first of all, as a friend, congratulations. Really good Thank to you. see. I know the team has been growing. Just before we came on air, I was giving praise to your team and just saying, you know, what I magnificent impression you've made on the entire managed service industry. Uh, you're a team based out of India, but you've got a presence in the UK, you've got presence in America, all across the world. So this is really, really good news. And I'm so pleased for you. But I guess for the benefit of our listeners, you know, it, it, it's great news for you, great news for the industry, I think. But what does this mean for the managed service provider space and specifically, Arvind, the MSPs who choose to use super ops? Perfect. So basically, uh, a lot of people have been asking me, like, how are you going to use my funds? So I, that's basically, I've been telling this to media. I think this is to the MSP audience. I'm going to tell you this is where I'm going to invest my funds. One is we're going to expand globally. We, we, we want to be, we are a U.S. headquartered company and we want to have local presence. We have hired Juan Fernandez who's going to help us uh, be the uh, face of uh, super ops in the uh, U.S. and uh, leading the channel. He's going to be the channel chief over there and he's going to set up a team uh, and uh, have a U.S. head office. So GTM expansion is going to be our number one uh, uh, goal. So maybe we are contemplating between Austin or Florida where the office is going to be. So that is the first thing. 
the second most important thing is this is this i have been telling uh, multiple times and, and you know this richard see any industry is going through a transformation because of the new ai everybody are talking about chat gpt gen ai and everything but i want all of us in the msp to not look at ai as a feature or a threat we need to look at the pain points is going to change how and we're going to look at all the pain points differently with ai as a weapon which we if you use it right so i'll give you a small example it, back in the days we used to listen to music uh, it will be a tape recorder or a cassette or a cd a cd player and then ipods then now we are listening in spotify the music has been the same if you ask me i'll say a sweet child of mine is my favorite song the music has been same but the gadgets which we used has changed right ai is the gadget your pain point your service to your clients is going to be the same how you are going to use ai to make your life better that's how we are going to do so we have actually uh, hired uh, uh, r&d department uh, head of uh, ai for suprops in new zealand uh, the team is going to only focus on how we can actually completely redo, redo every single thing in a better way with ai so the second investment is going to be in ai and the third investment which i'm going to do is to expand and also accommodate our it market so we'll be thinking of uh, 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 entering IT market by mid of next year, so that those are the three areas we would want to. So global expansion, US, UK, these regions, R and D in AI, and thus uh, another product which is going to be the IT superops of IT version. Wonderful, thank you for sharing, and and the AI piece especially. I mean, you're already well ahead of the curve with the AI, superops.ai, the clues in the name. Uh, and it's an exciting time, isn't it? You and I were speaking, it wasn't so long ago that AI really didn't mean very much to the managed service provider industry. We were perhaps you and I and others who were talking about it a little bit ahead of the curve. But now, as you said, chat GPT are the tools that have come along. It's in the mainstream. And now managed service right. providers are saying, OK, this is good for you know it's a bit of a toy at the moment but how can we use it to make our life easier and super ops really are doing that and so i am so excited to see what you can achieve now that you're going to pour you know gas oil onto the fire here of the ai um, uh, revolution and the research and development there i, I guess before we go any further I i'll ask a question that's probably you know on the minds of lots of people why did you choose to raise this funding now? Is, is there anything special that's happened recently that's uh, made you helped you make a decision? To be very honest, we didn't even pitch. It was so we had great growth. Uh, so I was just sending a mail to my internet investors about how we are growing, and uh, I didn't know like you know the market conditions is bad. Like a lot of companies are, yeah. uh, are trying to keep up with the growth or they are stagnant. And that's how the reality of uh, SaaS market uh, generally is. So I, uh, the investors didn't know MSP market is a recession-proof market. Uh, so yeah. we, I kind of kept sending updates saying that we are growing well, this is how much we are adding revenue. And suddenly my investor says that this is good. You are growing in a very fast pace. Why don't you double down and uh, grow faster and we are ready to uh, top up is what they said. And I kind of said, uh, maybe later, not now. I'll probably raise later and I'll uh, I'll raise with a much bigger valuation as what I had in my mind. And I just uh, said, thanks, but not now. And then uh, what happened, uh, March Capital was the new investor who came to us. They saw all the numbers. And one question they asked is like, what are your plans on expanding globally and having offices and people hiring in different, uh, uh, may, you are, where, where the customers are, you should basically should be there. And uh, I said, I would want to do that after my next round of funding. And they said, like, with this kind of growth, you should do it now. And uh, just for the audience, I want to give you the growth numbers. We are already at a 350% growth. And by end of the year, we will be almost at 600% growth. So that numbers kind of uh, invited investors. All our internal investors didn't want to uh, share it with anyone else. And we had to somehow accommodate everybody. And uh, we raised ahead of time. I didn't even have a pitch deck at the time. So. <laughs> you and I spent some time problem. together in London not so long ago and I was saying you know you, you're going to take investment on and things and you're saying well you know we're, we're growing at such a pace we'll hold off on that until we need to so again congratulations on where you are I, I just want to say for the benefit of listeners of the audience here 
why this is such a big deal. I mean, because we've seen a lot of mergers, acquisitions, we've seen a lot of investment in the managed service market over the past few years. But you alluded to it, Arvind, and we've talked about it before, right now in the SaaS market, and I've spoken to so many vendors, they are getting incredible amounts of pressure put on them uh, by their investors to say, turn a profit, do, you know, we need the faster growth and things like this. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's blood in the water out there at the moment. The SaaS market is really, really tough. So for the benefit of listeners, this, the fact that Arvind and the team at Super Ops are having people throw money at them just speaks to how highly they are regarded in the market. And Arvind, I know yourself, you've got a, you know, a phenomenal reputation within India, within the SaaS community as a, you know, as, as an investor and as somebody who has built great businesses before. So once again, congratulations on this. This is, this is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's been a yeah. pleasure and I'm looking forward to this journey now. <laughs> Let, let's dig in a little bit further then. So what new features can we expect from the Super Ops product going forward? We've got an audience of managed service providers listening. They're going to say, yeah, AI sounds great, but it's all a bit, a bit fuzzy. Could you give us any specifics on, uh, without giving away, sharing too many trade secrets on what m we might expect in the future? So uh, first off, I have an announcement to make. We are opening up beta access, early access for network monitoring. So one of the things which we did, this was not in our roadmap, to be honest. We listened to our uh, customers and we changed our roadmap so that we accommodate network monitoring. So we have three segments of MSPs. One is uh, emerging, maturing, and advanced MSPs. Especially in the emerging and maturing MSPs, they use a PSA RMM platform and a separate network monitoring tool, right? Like th that's been the norm. Like they didn't do yeah. so, they don't use one tool. So I was like, why are they using a different tool? Like if I'm going to monitor and manage my uh, network, all devices, whether it's laptop, desktop, servers, or uh, printer or router, should be managed within a single tool. I will not have a separate tool for printer and routers, and then a separate tool for my laptops and desktop. It not makes sense. So it was not part of the RMM offering. So we thought, okay, let's build network monitoring. Let's make it into a unified platform. That's going to be the most important part. And we are launching network monitoring uh, in this along as we speak. We are launching today. Beta access is open. We want to show you what we have built. If you have to course correct, we will uh, give you access, guide us in what we you need to get started with network monitoring. And that's the first feature. By before end of the year, we are also uh, thinking of launching uh, a smart tracker. It's basically technician efficiency uh like you like how to add work logs on the go on plugins and you don't have to actually worry about did i really uh, add that work log so that it's been charged properly so this comes with ai where it also can automatically tell you how much you have spent on this particular uh job and it will automatically uh, track it so that smart tracker is also in uh, place so a few other enhancements and already released features is going to be uh, done in billing and other things this is just for this year Next year, we have a whole lot of things. As I said, IT, uh, are launching an IT version of all these products is also in the plans, and we are going to go deeper in each of these modules. So that's a quick uh, roadmap plan. <laughs> I mean, your quick roadmap, there's a lot to digest there, a lot to unpack as there's so much stuff going on. I, I want to share a little bit, a peek behind the curtains here, you know, full disclosure for the audience. I've been an advisor and a friend to Super Ops for quite some time. And Arvind, you and the team have very kindly invited me in to speak with your development team to give them ideas and things. What I want to share with the audience is that I've never come across a company or I've rarely come across a company that listens so much to feedback from end users uh, from people using the product and changes the product accordingly. So every piece of feedback that I've given you, you've taken on board and run with it. And I know there's other experts in the industry you've spoken to. You listen to MSPs. And so, you know, these features are things that people are, in one hand, really asking for a lot. And the other hand, I think they don't realize how much they need them. So the smart tracking, for instance, uh, we got a peak of that. And that's going to make a significant change to a lot of MSPs who struggle to track their time and bill time effectively uh, to, to clients. So I'm, I'm really excited uh, to see what's coming next because the, these are great features that people want, not just fluff. Yes. <laughs> no, I have not even mentioned any of the AI features and we are significantly also investing in AI. Smallest features like how you can even send an email 
without drafting it and it can you can change the mood and you can just hit reply on the go it will make you much more efficient to work smarter so exciting yeah. times exciting times indeed uh, let's change track a little bit you mentioned it at the uh the top of our call so you've recently announced uh that you took on Juan Fernandez as well as uh, super ops as the new channel chief and now I know Juan from his days uh running an MSP uh and he wrote the book the MSP handbook tell us about that role how that came about so it all happened uh like we didn't plan it like so we want you know our first cab was in London so we thought, yeah. let's do a, a customer advisory board in New York. We wanted to listen to our customers. So just for the audience, we uh, bring in really uh, great industry experts, uh, MSPs of all sizes, and we'll show them what we are building and we'll get their inputs. And then we then go and build the, those features. That's how Superops operates. So we put together an advisory board. Uh, one, we did it in London and we wanted to do it in New York. So this time when we put it uh one was in the list of uh, folks who came for the cab. It The funny thing which happened in the cab was he was actually asking us questions which we wanted to show. Like when we started a topic, can you do this? I'm like, one, if you wait for two more minutes, we will show you this. So it was, it was the conversation. It happened six times. And I was basically say, I told one, one you, should, you should be sitting on this side of the table, not on the other side. So it was a joke. And then we did a meetup uh, the day after. And I kind of felt that uh, we needed someone like one who can actually have the same enthusiasm what Suprops folks has in about the industry. Uh, uh, more than uh, leading the sales or marketing, I think he has the vision of making some difference in the industry. And uh, we were able to connect over a drink. And then after a week, he, uh, we just connected and I asked him if he's interested to take up this role. And it all happened in a like couple of weeks' time. He spoke to our investors, everybody loved him, and we got him on board. That's magnificent. And again, congratulations on that. I reached out to one when the news came out and said, congratulations. But super, super higher for super ops as well, because in getting somebody with that breadth of managed service experience, somebody who's been there and done that, knows what MSPs want, is a, a really, really smart high for you. And I know you're not finished on the community side of things. So you, you talked about you've had uh, a super summits in London. We've got the the virtual summit coming up that I'm speaking at uh, very soon as well. Uh, you've had meetups in like uh, New York and other places. You've been a part, a real strong part of the managed service provider community globally. What are your plans for community going forward? Are you still going to engage with the wider community? Absolutely. See, I think... Uh... Uh, somebody asked me like there are so many communities and like uh, why another community so what we said is see we definitely want a forum where we would want to uh, help the MSPs end of the day we are all doing this to make MSP slice better uh, so what we did is we are launching a, a Suprops community to start with customers who will be able to ask any questions within the product and we are also trying to take a, a new approach where this community can act this community can actually help each other it's from for anybody can actually help anybody it can be an influencer help, helping an msp a vendor helping another msp msp is helping an msp and this can actually uh, is a platform which we want it should not be uh, we were doing a lot of initiatives already as you said meetups are happening virtual summits are happening and we have been doing this on and off somewhere we just wanted to make sure there is a platform for all this and we have launched a community uh, yesterday as we speak and uh, that's a super community and we need all the love and support from the industry to help us make this community into a place where we can actually uh, go back for us and be vulnerable and reach out for support. So, Excellent. And, and again, knowing your investment in the community, and from day one, when people didn't even know who super ops are, when you started to engage with the community, you did so in such a respectful way. And people, you know, I always talk about people do business with people they know, like, and trust. You've gone out of your way to allow people to get to know you. They like you. They trust you. So I'd encourage everybody listening, whichever PSA, RMM tool you're using, whether you know SuperOps or not, take a look at this community uh, because, you know, there's going to be some of the best minds in the industry getting involved there. It's a great way to learn and to share your own experience as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess I, I know you've got a television appearance and other stuff coming up. So our time is short. Uh, it, what can we expect over the next few months, over the next 12 months? from super ops 
so as I said, we definitely want to double down in uh, uh, expanding markets. So to be fair, we are only doing business in English speaking markets. Uh, US has been our primary market. Almost our sixty percent of our customer comes from US. Uh, UK is our second biggest market, and Australia. To be honest, we don't even have a single customer in India. Did you know that? Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. I assumed the Indian MSP market would <laughs> would love you. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I, I we purposely didn't want to do business in India at the time. Wow. So we focused on US, UK and Australia. We didn't sell in India. Uh, what we want to do is to, uh, we want to expand channels, like partner channel is one thing I'm looking for, or, uh, expand resellers, like especially in markets like Europe and uh, Latin America. Uh, localization is important. Working with the resellers and partners is important. So we're going to double down investing in GTM expansion and uh, making super ops into a really US headquartered company. So uh, uh, investments in US, UK and these kind of regions is going to be our primary role. And as I said, uh, 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 going depth in all of these modules, we have built five pl- five products in a single platform. We want to go up market and like uh, Pro- super ops is now known for selling for small and medium businesses. And we, we have been getting good traction from uh, large MSPs and few customers also like the product and bought it. So the, the point is point is not features. It's about more depth and customizations, yeah. how MSPs can use our product. So we're going to focus on going de- uh, deeper in each of these modules. And that's our area of focus other than IT and AI, of course. Yes. Yeah. Exceptionally exciting times for you. It's a, a really good news story in the middle of, you know, a quite a challenging time for the managed service industry and the vendors that are in it. So Arvind, I am over the moon for you. Uh, thanks for taking the time out today. I know you've got so much going on, so please look after yourself as well during this. Make sure you get a cup of tea down you and, uh, and and look after yourself. If anybody listening or watching wants to continue the conversation or to find out more about Super Ops, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? So you can always reach out to superprops.ai and we you can also connect us in LinkedIn and direct us, send us right message. Uh, we have all the contact information in uh, superprops.ai, all on the website. So it's a transparent model. You can come try the product. Nobody is going to ask you credit card or anything. It's, uh, it's free for trying. Excellent. You, my friends, you are a breath of fresh air in this industry. I wish you all the best in the world for this because this is great news. And uh, thanks again for joining us today, Arvind. I appreciate it. (laughs) 